Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the long-awaited house tour to go with my room tour I recorded a wee while back. So today I'm going to show you around my uni house and everyone's out today so it's just myself so um, I won't be able to show you the bedrooms but I wouldn't do that anyway unless I got permission so yeah but I'm really excited for you to see it because it is a gorgeous house and obviously um, let me know what you think in the comments below and yes um, if you would like me to do any like room tour afterwards of a Pacific room just let me know below and I will do that for you so let's jump ahead and get started First up we have our front door, lovely and average, very nice. Then you come across and we have our fire alarm system, our temperature gauge and our makeshift post box, all the unpassed food menus as you do. We have our Wi-Fi, some phone books and a plumbing book. And then underneath we have just all the wires of the alarm system and the modem. We have then James's bike. James is very into his exercising and keeping fit, so he tends to cycle to uni, but today he decided to walk, so the bike is in the house tour. Then on the right, we then have the first bedroom, which is Lauren's, and she was brave enough to take the downstairs one, so good for you, Lauren. But it has an ensuite, so it sort of makes up for that, so yas. Then we come and we have our staircase, very nice stairs there, so yes. And then coming along we have our living room, which is so pretty, so nicely done. So yes, we have our three-seater sofa there and it's the most cosiest, comfiest sofa I've ever sat on. Our radiator, our lovely dining table, so we all sit in here and have our dinner. If we're all in at the same time, we tend to be out at different times, so yes, very nice. Then we have our coffee table with our Yankee candle, our HDMI cable that we plug into our laptop for watching movies. And then we have our LG Smart TV, which offers us YouTube and Netflix, fabulous and love this wallpaper, absolutely gorgeous. So, yas. And then in this corner, we tend to have our Christmas tree at Christmas. So, yeah, and it looks really pretty. And then we have our second sofa, but unfortunately, he had a mishap back in October. So, yes, we don't really sit on that side unless we want to sink into it. So, yeah. But we can sit in this one, so we can still get two people on that side. So. Yeah, so at the minute we're using them as a doorstop, which works out. So yes, very nice. And then if we come out into the hall, as I call it. There we are, and go down. On our left, we have our basement. And no guys, I'm sorry, I'm not going down there for your amusement, so yeah. Then we come down. And we have our first fridge freezer, which I share. Oh, so if we get it open, there is my shelf on the top there. And then we have James's shelf and Sophie's shelf. And then on this side we have just all sort of our extra milk and things like that. Plenty of milk, I'll never go short of that. So, yes. Then in the freezer, again, I share with James and Sophie and mine is the top one. So yes, which is broke, of course. And it's definitely much more stock than the fridge, so we have plenty of food. And then coming over here we have our ironing board and some spare curtains down there. And then over to the right, which is a big bonus, we have a second bathroom, well, toilet room. Fabulous window. We sink in there and then our toilet. So it's small but livable, that's all you need. And then coming to the main part of the house, which is absolutely gorgeous and my favorite, our beautiful 
kitchen. Absolutely stunning. Now, this is posh for student standards. Our landlord went above and beyond when he was doing the house up. So it, it is beautiful. It's gorgeous. So starting over here, we have my corner, my baking tray, blackcurrant, barbecue sauce, and then we have my wee fish tank. So obviously as a student, you're not allowed to pay it. So why not have an electronic fish tank? Perfect. Then we have my cupboard. And there's always something about having a fully stocked food cupboard that makes you feel so good. Especially if there's toffee pops. Yes. Then we come down and we have the kettle. This fabulous breakfast bar. So this is where we all sit in the morning and have our breakfast. Gorgeous. And look how pretty this bowl is. It's absolutely stunning. So pretty. Then we come over and we have our microwave. Our wee mason jar, which we keep straws and stuff in, some cling film. This Christmas card that our ne new next door neighbour gave us, which is so cute. And then just some spare things over there. And I love the tile work. Like I said, when he did this up, it's absolutely gorgeous. So love those. Then we have our radiator. Then this is where we keep our hoover, our very old fashioned hoover. Our bin, our mop, our brushes. And then just some rubbish that needs to go out. We have the back door to the garden, and we have like a nice wee L-shaped garden, so it's quite cute. And then we come over and we have the toaster, Becca's cupboard, and then our first of two, yes two, oven, hob and grills, which is a big advantage. So there it is, absolutely fabulous. Then we have our boiler. The weather is so nice today, not gonna lie. Then down here we just have our spare items, so our iron, our drinking jug, and some whiskey. And then on the windowsill we have our planner for the weeks, or the month, our makeshift vase for when we have flowers in the house, some important documents, and a temperature gauge. And then over here I have my TK Maxx milk jugs, which are so cute sitting there, which I use in the mornings for breakfast for like milk and apple juice and stuff. So cute. Then we have our second oven and grill. Fabulous. And then we have some dishes that need washed. Some dishes that need put away, more in the put away pile. And if you have a look out there, you can see our garden. Well, some of it. So yeah, not too bad. Good brave big wall, which is very good for safety reasons. Then you come down. And we have our washing machine. Again, a wee bit hard to use, but it works and you get the gist of it, so yes. And then we have our second fridge freezer, which Lauren and Becca have. And then on top we just have our washing up products. So, yas. And then that is our fabulous kitchen. So like I said, it's absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. So, yas. Fabulous. So coming up the stairs then, to the first of three levels, yes, three. The first room we come to is Sophie's room. And then into the right, we have the main bathroom. And with me and Sophie not having en suites, we share this bathroom which is very nice, very nicely done. So starting here, we have our heated tile reel, and then I have my cleaning products down there. We have our bins, our scales, and then just this block sort of thing. Our fabulous big walk-in jar, it's so good. So much space. Ah. Then our products. We have my bath mat from first year. And on the windowsill, we have my 
soap dispenser and toothbrush holder from last year. And my two mirrors, hey! And then down here we have my soap, the orange one, and Sophie's soap, the blue one. And then we have the toilet, very nice. And then we have this cabinet that was empty when I moved in, so I sort of asked if I could have it, which I was allowed to. So I just have inside my um, shower gels, hair products, some plasters, my shaver, and some cotton buds. So yes, the essentials. Then we also have a shaver plug for obviously my shaver and things like that. So yes, so that's the bathroom. Very nicely done, as said so. And then we come down and then up again to the second level. And here we have my room, as you've seen before, and James's room. So we have our own wee level. And then coming round and going up to the third level. And it's a lot more cooler up here than it is downstairs. We have then Becca's room and we have the spare room as there's only five of us living here so we get a spare room and then that's just all Becca's clothes. So going into the spare room, I can show you this one because obviously there's no one here. It's just literally empty so we have the bed, a wee bedside table and it's literally freezing up here, not going to lie. The desk, a few chairs, we just sort of use it as storage so there's some boxes in there in the corner and then the wardrobe so yes so like I said we sort of use it as just spare room for storage and if we have any guests that come over then you know we put them in here obviously we give them bedding lol but yeah the one advantage of this room though is there's a nice skyline which is very nice nice wee skylight so yeah so that's the spare room and then we go back down again. That was my uni house tour. As I said, I absolutely love it. It's such a gorgeous house and I hope you guys enjoyed going around it and seeing for yourself. If you have any more questions or like I said, if you want me to do a specific room, you know, tour, just comment below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. It does mean a lot. And yes, thank you for um, coming on my house tour. So until the next time, see you later.